In this episode, we will talk about Hawking radiation, black hole evaporation. Let's enjoy it. The black hole evaporation was discovered by Stephen Hawking. Classical black holes can only absorb particles. They cannot emit them. Once you cross the even horizon of a black hole, there is no way to escape from it. Black holes have an entropy associated to their existence. The black hole entropy is proportional to the area of the even horizon. The entropy measures the amount of information contained inside the black hole. Then, if Oscar falls inside the black hole, all the information contained by him would go inside. This information then becomes entropy for the black hole. If the entropy of the black hole is proportional to the area of the even horizon, then all the information of the black hole is contained on its surface. The black hole entropy was formulated for first time by Jacob Bekenstein in 1972. But then, how can a black hole evaporate? In a cure for space-time, the concept of particles is relative. I can see a red particle falling. I can also see a red particle falling. Mike and Jennifer can describe the existence of the same particle because the gravitational field in our planet is weak, then our space-time is approximately flat, then we can describe the concept of particle unambiguously in our planet. But how do we define a particle? In quantum field theory, in a flat space-time, we define a particle as a positive frequency mode with respect to the corresponding time symmetry translation. I can see particles coming out from the black hole. I do not see any particle. When the curvature of the space-time is strong enough, which is the case when we have black holes, the concept of particle is ambiguous. Then the amount of particles perceived by different observers depend on how they define the positive frequency with respect to the source, in this particular case, the black hole. However, these time observers defining the same time coordinate, we perceive the same amount of particles coming out from the black hole. The particles come in the form of a black body spectrum of radiation. The black body spectrum of radiation is well known. It was discovered by Max Planck during the early days of quantum mechanics. It is interesting that the black holes follow precisely the same spectrum. I am using the Bogolubov transformations for calculating the Hawking radiation. Hawking original calculation involved the use of the famous Bogolubov transformations. When we use these transformations, positive and negative frequencies mix around a black hole, something which never happens in flat space-time. Is there any problem with the Hawking argument? Indeed, there is a huge, huge problem. During the evaporation process, the entropy of the black hole decreases, then the information contained inside the black hole should also decrease. However, the particles are emitted in the form of a spectrum of radiation, which does not carry any information. This is the famous black hole information paradox, which is still an open problem. The first evidence of Hawking radiation is claimed to have been found by using analog models of black holes with fluids. In summary, there is a spectrum of radiation coming from the black hole. The spectrum follows precisely the black body spectrum. Since the radiation does not carry information, there is an associated information paradox to the black hole physics. The Hawking radiation is a quantum effect. It's a consequence of the definition of particles from the perspective of quantum fields moving around a black hole. The Hawking radiation is a semi-classical calculation 
mixing classical and quantum arguments. This is the case because we still do not have a complete theory of quantum gravity. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link and subscribe to our channel. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.